Hi folks, it's Rye Guy here, and I recently had the opportunity to help one of my fellow co-workers install, help him install a block heater onto a Kubota BX series tractor. So, hope you enjoy the show. It's not super comfortable. It's fine. It's very not comfortable at all, <laughs> is it? No. Right, for science reasons, Ricky. It's winter time. Let's see how this goes. Sometimes what you want to do, Ricky, is almost visualize the three cylinders. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably cylinder one. Yeah. That's probably like cylinder two in the middle, and then that one. So we we'll probably want to go to the right. That's my best guess to avoid the water jacket. You know what I'm saying? Right. The back side of the cylinder. Well, yeah. let's we'll see how this goes. You said you drained it all. Would you fill it back up? All over the floor. Yeah. Oh, I just mopped there, too. It's all right, we're going to okay. mop it up. All right, this, we got no room. You got one of the square pet trays? You want to keep a square tray around? Yep. You know, teach us to do the uh, snowblower attachment before finishing the cab. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably at that point in time when that bumper was off so we could open the hood up more. That's we're a day late, dollar short. Yeah, I know. All right, here's the tool. You see how that it works 50% of the time. You see how it goes. It was working. I can see it working. All right. Wow. It's always nice that when is, it works. Yeah, that is. You got a flash? Where's your flashlight? So we can right just so we can point out to the folks at home who might be wanting to do this. But yeah, you can see the red Loctite yeah. that was there. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the curvature of that water jacket. See, I was right. We wanted to be to the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do see that water jacket now. Yeah. Trying to zoom in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was a good call. Is yeah. it? Well, you can just kind of tell where the cylinder's going to be. Right. You know, it's there. We're still on one, two, three. Just do the math. All right, so what we need to do now, Rick, is we need to vacuum all the water out of there. And um, and then really carefully emery cloth clean that up, <clears throat> and then we'll be back and we'll uh, we'll punch in the yeah the engine block heater. Probably good enough. They were probably good enough, Ricky. Oh yeah, though, much lower than what it was. Oh yeah. 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 So we got to clean all that up, right? Not a oh, gasket. Yeah. That, that looks yeah. mint. Yeah. yeah. So let's just try to clean this crap out of here, Ricky. Yeah, well, we don't want to. We don't want to machine it. We just want to clean it. Right. And provide. So, do you think the red Loctite would be better than the hydraulic? I don't know. The hydraulic Loctite's kind of meant for fluid. Okay. You know. Yeah. And the shit's strong as hell. We could do a test. Should we do a test on it? I don't know. I've never done a test on it. Well, we can just put a couple bolts together loosely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just on the see. threads and. See how they are. You can see how dirty that yeah. is, yeah. How does that look? Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks a little better. You know, it probably doesn't hurt to uh 
Take another piece and we'll just it scuff up. it up yeah. just a little bit. Take off the uh, surface for non-rusting. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we'll use the 545. We'll use the hydraulic lock tight because this stuff's thick. Yes. It's really thick. And it stays like where you put it. You know what I'm saying? That it definitely does. It stays right where yeah. you put it. Yeah, so we'll get a little like there. A little jelly. It is, it's like jelly. Yep. Yeah. All right, so now, Ricky, we just want to make sure these two prongs here, we put them in level. Yeah. You know, so the plug is nice and neat. Mm -hmm. Or else it won't be. And then I went ahead and got a half inch, one inch socket because okay. it fits against that uh, shoulder uh. perfectly. Do you have a marker? We could always put a mark on top of here for like dead top center yeah. in case there was something to happen, you know? We could. Or we could just be careful. We could just be careful. Right. That's in against the engine block. We're looking good. Let's hold that baby straight. Yeah. Oh man, we're in trouble here. Going a little crooked. I we'll need the hammer. No, it was the uh, the video. Huh? Sorry, keep it down. And we're just gonna tap it in straight. I can't see shit. Are we done? Oh, it feels done. It feels done. Oh, is, yeah. is it all the way in? Now a lot. Go a little more. I don't know. It was definitely you know, a good right. measure. I would just give it a. You said it felt in. It felt pretty in. Let me just stand yeah. over here. I think it still yeah. sounds the same. Metal still metal. sounds like metal, metal on metal. metal to me, buddy. You have any uh, dielectric grease? I do. We could be nice to them and pull a dielectric grease on this plug here. Oh, the boss. That's the good stuff. Yeah, I keep that on hand. Stuff that works great for everything. Yeah, I'll just make the next. Someone ever has to replace this. At least uh, this thing isn't going to weld itself in there. It's just the case of just putting it in. That's it. That is it. That's it. Yeah, and then we'll put this stuff back and we'll zip tie it nice and neat so it comes out like right there so the guy can plug it right in. And I gotta put that thing back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Good job. I'd just like to say thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.